Hello guys, my name is Martijn with Mosul know me as Total Warzone. Welcome to a quick tutorial. A lot of people asked me how I got these pain tools over here, these kind of things. How I got them in replays and in single player. Because in the vanilla game you can only use them in multiplayer matches or multiplayer campaigns. And not in single player and not in replay. Which is pretty annoying if you want to commentate on a video. Uh, if you want to make videos yourself or if you're with a friend, something like that. Uh, but I turned them on and I will show you how you can turn them on. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So here we are at my computer. You need to go to your computer as well because we got to change uh, the paint tool settings in the files of Rome 2. So when you're here you want to go to your C drive, go to users, my uh, Windows is in Dutch by the way, so names are a bit different. Uh, go to your name or wherever you, uh, well your main user folder. Then go to app data if the app data folder isn't here you need to enable hidden files uh, go to organize go to map and search options go to view scroll down below and there should be something like hidden maps and folders and you can enable them right there i already got them so you want to go into the app data go to roaming and you need, should find a the creative assembly folder roam 2 of course then head into scripts and there should be a preferences.script file. If there isn't such file in here, you probably never played the game. Uh, because you need to play it once, I think, for this to show up. So, when you open it up, there's just a mess of text right here. And these are just all your personal settings for Room 2. And that also means that all your graphic settings are here, as you can see. Uh, they do that by numbers. Uh, but we need to search, so Control F, for Tele, T-E-L-E. And it will find this line. And this is what you need. UI telestrations always on. Enables telestration for single player. For if one to draw for replays or video. So they already uh, described it right here. As I think by de default this is on false. And you need to put it on true just like I have it here. And that's basically all you need to do. You need to save it. Make sure you save it at the same place so it overrides. Just overrides the copy right here. You can just cancel it up. Uh, start up Rome 2 and you should have your paint tool. So really easy fix. Uh, but I hope this helps you guys. I hope uh, this, uh, yeah, you find it useful and I hope you get me. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys very soon with some more Rome 2 content so see you guys later bye